teacher today used a projector to teach us about different types of animals. That's nice. Did she use the PowerPoint program? PowerPoint? I don't know. All we know are different animals with their names and their description appearing on the screen page after page. What program did she use, Clicko? She probably used the Microsoft PowerPoint program. What is the PowerPoint program? Microsoft PowerPoint is a presentation software. It is used to create and edit presentations for slideshows, meetings, and web pages. What is presentation software? Systematic display of information is called presentation. The software that helps in presentation is called presentation software. Presentation software consists of text, graphics, animation, and sound. It is great tool for teachers, students, or sales representative to make the content of their presentation more impressive. A PowerPoint program consists of slides. Slides are the many pages in a presentation. These slides are grouped together to form a slideshow. What is slideshow? A slideshow is an electronic presentation displayed on a computer screen. The presentation also can be reproduced on a paper of cloth screen. Show me how to open Microsoft PowerPoint in my computer now. Okay, switch on your computer first and I will show you how to open the PowerPoint program. Yes, I have switched on the computer. In order to start Microsoft PowerPoint 2010, click Start. Then select All Programs. Then click on Microsoft Office and select Microsoft PowerPoint. Look, a blank presentation screen appeared. Let me now show you some of the features of the PowerPoint screen. The title bar displays the name of the document. The ribbon shows all the options to work in PowerPoint. From a single area, the ribbon area is grouped together under the different tabs which contains various command buttons. The office button consists of the commonly used commands like open, save and print documents. Frequently used commands like to open, save and print documents can be stored in the quick access toolbar. The slide area is the big working space in the middle where slide elements like text, pictures, animations and sound can be added. The placeholder is a dashed border where elements can be inserted. How can we create a new presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint? To create a new presentation, first click on the File tab and then click on the New option. Look, a dialog box with three separate columns has appeared. Let us now learn how to create a blank and recent presentation. First, click on the File tab. Then, click on the New option from the drop-down list. Click on the Blank Presentation option. Click on the Create option. Look! A new presentation with a blank slide on your screen has appeared. Now, click inside the placeholder to type what you want. Once you finish typing, click outside the placeholder. So this is how you start creating a PowerPoint presentation slideshow. Now, let me show you how to create a presentation using templates. What are templates? Templates is a term used for a pattern which remains the same throughout the presentation. Templates help you to create a presentation by asking question on the subject matter of the presentation. These are the steps to create a new presentation using templates. First, click on the File tab. Then, click the New option. From the template list on the left column, choose the one you want. Click on the Create button. Look, the template type presentation is created with many slides. 
the saved presentation files that contain predefined slide color schemes and graphic elements are called themes. We create a presentation slide using themes. These are the steps to create a presentation using themes. First, click on the file tab. Then, select the new option which you want to choose from the list. Click on the create button. The chosen theme presentation slide is now created. You can type anything you want by inserting a placeholder or paste image of your choice in the slide. How can we add more slides to our presentation? Add more slides to your presentation by using the new slide button in the home tab on the ribbon. Renny, so far you have learned how to create a presentation page in PowerPoint. Let us now discuss how to view the presentation. Microsoft PowerPoint contains different views which help us while creating a presentation. These are the type of views in PowerPoint. Normal view is the one you are working with most of the time. In normal view, you can add text, pictures or create notes. There are two options in normal view. Outline view and slides view. Outline view enables you to work while viewing the text. In this view, you can promote or demote the text to create the main points and sub points. You can also move the text around or create summary slides. Slide view shows one slide at a time. You can see each slide in details in this view or work with pictures and diagram in it. Slide sorter view allows you to see all the slides in the presentation at the same time displayed in miniature. You can add transition and animation effects to the slides in slide sorter view. You can also delete unwanted slides in this view or drag and drop slides from one position to another. The slideshow view is used to give presentation on screen. To view the slideshow, click on the setup slideshow icon on the status bar. Let us now discuss how to navigate slides. There are many ways you can navigate slides during editing the presentation. The keyboard of the mouse is used to navigate the slides. These are the shortcut keys you can use to navigate slides in PowerPoint. Page up. It takes you one slide back at a time. Page down. It takes you one slide forward at a time. Control plus home. It takes you to the beginning of the presentation. Control plus N. It takes you to the end of the presentation. The mouse can be used to scroll through the presentation. In normal slide and outline view, the mouse can be used to move the vertical scroll bars to view the previous of the next slide. The method of placing things or objects on a slide in a specific order is called layout. A layout consists of placeholders for different types of objects or text. You can choose a different slide layout each time you add a new slide. These are the different types of slide layout you can choose from. Title slide, section holder, comparison, blank, picture with caption, title and content, to content, title only, content with caption. So, Renny, this is all about PowerPoint. I hope you will remember what we have discussed about PowerPoint. Yes, Clico, and thank you for your help.